So I'd like us to start on our backs and Teresa, you are welcome to stay at the wall. If anybody else has a wall and you wanna come into legs up the wall, feel free. Good way to get there is to sidle up to it kind of with your hip facing the wall and then just do a little flip around. You're welcome to be flat on your back with your legs out straight or with your knees bent if that's more comfortable. Just whatever works for you. And I invite you to close your eyes if that's okay for you. And you can rest your hands on your belly and your chest or out to the side. Turning the palms up. And see if you can feel the back of your body releasing into the ground. Little shoulder blades. The sacrum, maybe the spine. If the arms are on the ground, we can release the bones in the arms. Relax. And if the legs are on the ground, let them be heavy, relaxed. Invite the face to soften and relax. And let the belly relax open. Noticing the breath coming into the belly. Deepening the breath so that the belly expands even wider as you inhale. Feeling the belly relax back in toward the spine. As you exhale, and then let the breath move from the belly to the ribs. So sometimes, if you know that you have to breathe next into the ribs. You might shortchange the breath into the belly. Just be aware if that's happening and see if you can have just as full a breath into the belly. Really take your time to expand there and then take advantage of the room in the ribs, the middle of the lungs, to breathe in a little more. Expanding there. And then breathing fully into the belly, taking your time out into the ribs and then up into the chest in three distinct but continuous parts. So the breath doesn't pause after the belly or after the ribs, but you can still feel it as though it's coming in in three sections. The exhale happens from the chest to the ribs to the belly.
engaging your ujjayi breath if that's something you're familiar with. Letting the suction of the inhale come from the throat instead of the nose. And then maintaining that narrowing at the back of the throat so that the exhale also seems to go through the throat, making that wishing sound like this. And if your legs are up the wall, then roll over onto your side, coming away from the wall. Extending out through the left leg, hug the right knee into the chest. Flexing the left foot, and reaching the heel out long. The right foot can relax. Maybe it'll feel as though the right knee and the left heel are moving in opposite directions. And then continue with your deep three-part breathing. See if you can feel where the position of the leg directs the breath to in the body. If the breath takes a different shape because the body is in a different shape, just notice if that's so in your body. You don't need to make anything happen. Just investigate. Just be curious. Just breathing and feeling. Bring that right arm inside the right leg. Bring the hand around the bottom inside of the foot and lift the foot. Take the left arm overhead and then bend your upper body to the right. Relax the weight of your right shoulder down toward the ground. Pull your chin down toward your chest. Reach out long through your left foot and hand. And breathe into the stretch. And then bend your left leg. Place your right ankle just above your left knee. And if you can, lift that left leg, bringing the foot to the height of the other foot. And then if you can, you can clasp your hands behind the back of that left leg. Flex both feet. 
And then when you exhale, press your left foot toward your right foot. When you inhale, try to relax your right leg as much as you can and breathe deeply. All the way in and all the way out. Using that exhale to soften, let go of resistance, and then just gently pressing the left foot toward you. And then release the right leg out onto the ground, straighten it, flex the foot, take the hands around the outside of the left knee and hug that knee into the chest. Relax the left foot, flexing the right foot, press it out away from you. Breathing in and out. Bring the left arm inside the left leg, wrap the hand around the foot and lift the foot over the knee. Bring the right arm up overhead and then just bend your body over to the left. Reaching out of the foot and the arm. Relaxing the back of the left shoulder to the ground, feeling the weight of the hand heavy on the foot. And then see if you can use this open space to breathe in even more deeply. You feel the breath in that space between the right hip bone and the right ribs. Where else do you feel the breath? the right arm, bend the right leg, place the left ankle above the right knee, and then lift the right foot. If you can, clasp your hands behind the back of the right leg and flex both feet. Bring the chin down toward the chest, keeping the neck nice and long. Fill into however much space it can find here. And then when you exhale, relax and draw that right foot in toward the left foot.
Release the hands, return the right knee to the ground, left, sorry, right foot to the ground, left foot to the ground, and then roll over onto your side, resting your head on your arm. Feeling your breath nice and full. And then with the free hand, press into the ground and lift yourself up, coming right to hands and knees. Line your hands up under your shoulders. And you're welcome to come on to fists if that feels better. Your knees are hip width apart under your hips. Good. We're just gonna warm up the hip a little, hips a little bit more. So let's start with the left knee out to the side and circle it around in the air. Full range of motion. And reverse, circle the other way. And relax the leg down. Let's do the other leg. And reverse. And bring the knee down. Let the belly drop down, the tailbone curl up, breathe into the belly, the ribs, the chest as the eyes lift, cow pose. And exhale, reverse, rounding, tuck the chin, cat. And then continue letting the length of your breath determine the pace of the movement. Take your time, breathe all the way in and all the way out. You might press the hands down into the ground at the end of the exhale to help lift the belly even more. And then return to neutral spine. Bring the hands a little bit over to the right. Press your right foot up and come down onto your right foot ball. And then bring your left knee in, so you're in a pinwheel position, and come down both sit bones. Kind of with the right knee. Yeah. So we'll lift the hips a little bit more. Right hand on the right knee. We'll come into a rock. With your breath, if that feels right to you. And come back to stillness. Push down. Exhale. 
exhale over to the right. Let your right elbow bend. Let your shoulder drop down. The arm can move further away from you if you want. And then roll your gaze up and to the left. And if that's not okay for your neck, then down and to the right. Keep pressure into that right hand so that you feel your left sit bone sinking, giving you something to reach away from with your left arm. And then invite the breath to travel up the whole side of your body. And inhale, lift the arm and body up. Exhale, turn to the right, bringing the left hand to the right knee. Then you can either bring the right hand to the ground behind you, or if you can, reach all the way back and grab hold. And then as you inhale, lift tall through the spine. Nice long breath. Exhale, relax. Spacious. And then use your next inhale to roll back down to the front. And if your hand was on your foot, bring it onto the ground now, that right hand. Press into the right hand to lift your hips and send the left arm up. Drop your head back. And press into the tops of your feet to help your hips come under you even more. See if you can try to roll your right rib cage up even more. Maybe let your head fall back. Breathing into the heart. Expanding the areas that are made tighter by the stretch. By breathing into them. And slowly release down. Cross all the way over the body, hold the right leg. And then kind of inch both feet away from each other so that you're stacking your knees as best as you can. Good. And then inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, bring the hand onto the upper back. Bring the right hand onto the elbow. Lift tall as you inhale, as you exhale, push the elbow down. Take some nice deep breaths here. 
And then we'll release that right hand, leave the left arm where it is. Bring the right hand behind your back, walk it up your back, trying to find your left fingers with your right fingers. Don't worry if they don't reach, mine don't on the other side. So it's not about how far you go, but just to come to your maximum stretch and then try your best to relax into it. And if you have a towel or a strap, you can dangle it from your left hand, grab it with your right hand, and then walk up the prop to deepen the stretch. Finding breath, finding ease. And then release the hands, lift the heart, inhale, exhale, walk the hands forward, hold them over your hands as you can. As you inhale, exhale the arms down. Release to the ground. Release your legs out to the side, nice and wide. And then if you can, press into your hands to lift your hips and send them forward. And then it might serve you to keep your hands behind you so that it supports the lifting of your chest. The straighter the spine, the deeper the stretch. But if you want to deepen by folding forward, then you can bring the hands in front of you. But if it starts to round your back, it's probably not not helpful to come forward. It might be more of a stretch to stay here than to come here and just collapse the spine. But if you can keep the spine nice and long and still hinge forward, then you can just let gravity take you down. Just working with the breath. This is really not a doing, but an undoing feeling all of the muscles and all of the effort to keep yourself up and protection against the intensity of the stretch and seeing if you can let the weight of the body go. Finding the breath again and exhaling and relaxing even more. Thank you. 
There's some slack in the arms. Keeping the feet flexed. And then roll yourself up if you're folded. Lift your arms up with an inhale. Exhale the arms down to the outer legs. Help the legs forward. Windshield wiper the feet. And then bend that left foot in foot back, pressing into the left hand, sinking down into the right sit bone as best as you can. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, sliding the left hand out, bending the left elbow, reaching over with the right arm, turning the head up if you can down if that's better, dropping the body to the left, maintaining pressure in that left hand so that the right sit bone stays down. And then lift yourself up, reaching up through that right arm. Exhale it down to the left knee. And then that left hand can just roll back behind you so that it folds your shoulder back away from your face. Or if you can and you want, you can reach your left hand for your right foot. As you inhale, lift tall through the spine. Exhale, roll the belly, turn the ribs, turn the chest, reach your eyes back behind you. And then with each inhale, slowly lengthen through the crown of the head. Each exhale, relaxing and turning into it. If you're holding your foot with your hand, release it, bring the hand to the ground. We'll all press into that left hand, lifting the hips, bringing the right arm up and back, dropping the head back, and then press into your feet, bringing your hips forward and under. Roll the left ribs up if you can. Try to make space with your breath. And release down. Bring that right foot all the way over to the left leg. And then walk both feet away from each other like you're trying to stack your knees.
And then bring the right arm up. Place the hand on the upper back. And then bring the left hand to the elbow. Lift tall and press down. Like you're pressing the whole shoulder girdle down your back. And then release the left arm, bring it behind your back, walk the hand up your back toward your other hand, taking the hand if they reach, maybe draping your strap or towel if they don't. And release the arms. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale. Maybe the face can soften more. And then roll yourself up, reach it up, inhale, exhale, release down, release the legs out. <laughs> yeah, you might want to rub the knees. Let's roll the ankles around. And reverse. Good. And then the feet and flip over them, coming back onto hands and knees. Placing the hands in front of the shoulders spreading the fingers wide apart. Curl the toes under, take a breath in. And then when you exhale, lift the knees, push the hands forward, and then straighten the legs and press the heels down. Now without bending the knees, we're gonna alternate pressing into each heel. So. When I press down into the left heel, I'm gonna lift the right heel a little bit. The right hip will come up a little bit higher. The knees are gonna stay straight. And then I'm gonna reverse. I'm gonna press the right heel down and let that left hip come up a little bit. Let the head relax down, let the chest sink down. Just pedaling like this. really pushing into the heel that you're lowering.
Good. And then bring both heels down. Inhale, pressing forward through the fingers, lengthening back through the hips. Exhale, lifting the belly, dropping the head and chest. And then roll the elbows down so that the shoulders widen across the upper back. And then press into the index fingers and thumbs more. And then reconnect with your three-part breath. With each exhale, sink. Inhale, look forward, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it to the outside of your right foot. Good. And then you can bend your elbows and lower your hips. And maybe you might even come on to your elbows if you can get down that far. And then try to support your head, maybe making fists. If that doesn't come up high enough, you can lift your thumb of your top fist and rest your forehead on it. Just try to let your head rest. And then really press down into the right big toe and press back through the left heel. Beautiful. Bring the left knee down. Come onto your hands if you are on your elbows. Walk that right foot in, bringing one hand on either side of the foot. And then you might want to double your mat under your left knee if you're on a hard surface. We're going to bend that left leg. I'm going to reach the right hand back and take hold of the left foot and pull that left heel toward the buttock and then aim the left hip toward the right foot. And then look over your right shoulder and roll the shoulder away from your face. Keep rotating that left hip down and to the right. And release the back foot. Bring the hand back. Shift the hips, walk the hands back, flex the front foot, inhale, lift your chest. Front leg is straight, exhale, relax over the leg. Try to let the elbows bend and the hands be really gentle. If they come down, then you don't have to worry about it. But if they touch the ground, let them touch ever so slightly. Like the weight of a piece of paper resting on a desk. And then draw that right hip back, pull the belly in and up, relax the head. Slowly drag the breath through the body. And then bend that front knee, walk your hands forward, curl the back toes under, spread the fingers, lift the back knee, step back into downward dog. 
Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step it up to the outside of the hand. Dropping the hips. Dropping the elbows. Maybe coming all the way down onto them if that's accessible. Maybe stacking your hands or fists to support your head if you can. And then press down into the left big toe and back through the right heel. Maintain a sense of ease by breathing slow and long and following your breath with your mind. Bring the back knee to the ground. Come onto your hands if you're not already on them. And then inch that left foot over a little bit so that one hand comes on either side of the foot. And again, you might want to curl your mat under your right knee for extra cushion. We'll just bend that right knee and reach your left hand back for the foot. So in order to get the foot, you probably sent your hips back a little bit. So you want to make sure that you bring them forward again and bring that foot with you toward the butt up. And then we're going to actively drop that right hip down and aim it toward the left foot. Look over your left shoulder, rolling your left shoulder away from your face. And release the foot and the hand. Flexing that left foot, straightening the left leg. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lay your belly first. Take weight out of your And then lift your head. And send your left leg back. Sitting on your feet. If you're not able to sit on your feet, just stand on your knees. I'm going to bring the hands to the ground behind. And then press the hips up. Roll the shoulders back and in. Drop the head back. Push into the tops of the feet, sending the hips forward even more. Active in the feet. And then slowly lower the buttocks down. Fold yourself over, sending the arms forward.
hands, tuck your chin, roll yourself up, reach the arms up, inhale. Bring the hands together, bend the elbows, bring the thumbs to the upper back. Inhale, bring those palms together up. Exhale, lower them down to the heart. And release your hands. Come off your feet, bringing the feet around in front and lower. So if you need to stop at one, I'm letting you know that it's two minutes to one. We started late, so I'm going late. So you have to I'm just gonna lift the hips up. Release the legs and shake them out. If you're using an eye pillow, you can rest that on your eyes. And we'll all let the arms rest out away from the body. Closing the eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the body into the ground. At the mouth, releasing the jaw, feeling the teeth part, the lips part. Inhale deep. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind. And releasing the breath. Breath just comes effortlessly without taking it, without controlling it. Just feel the ease of the breath. And let your awareness rest on the breath, tracking it as it comes in and goes out. Noticing if the mind wanders and just bringing it back again, staying with the breath for as long as you can and returning again and again. Deeply relaxed. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go.
breathe into your heart, little fingers and toes. Reach the arms overhead, take a deep breath, stretch long. Hug the knees to the chest, rocking side to side, feeling the ground, massaging your back. And come center, rub hand to hand and foot to foot, waking up the energy in the body. And then roll on to either side, resting your head on your underside arm. Resting your body on the ground. Resting your awareness on whatever is presenting itself right now. Noticing how you feel and what you feel. And then slowly make your way up to sitting any way that you're comfortable. Letting your sit bones sink down, your spine lift tall. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, the hands together at the heart. Inhale, lift the heart to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. Drop the chin to the chest. Namaste. Thank you. Happy New Year.